Welcome to live chat. Remember to guard your privacy and abide. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey, everybody. I'm broadcasting live uh, this morning uh, from our porch here. And uh, I thought, hey, why not to fire up the fire up the camera and start chit-chatting. Hey, Dad. Hey, Cody. What's up? Eh, not much. Just hang out. Just getting bored of my house. Oh. I'm not bored, just... My house is surrounded by zombies and creepers. Oh. <laughs> surrounded by zombies and creepers? And all, I, and all I have is a wooden sword. Oh. Well, you this did... This is the second night. Oh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know how many people will show up. It's pretty early in the morning. Everybody's probably out and about or still sleeping. Yeah. You guys can see my truck. The, the, the hood of my truck is open. I have... My starter went out. And it doesn't click, 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 click. You know, when you go to turn the key, it's not a... You know, it's just a one click and that's it. I think it's probably the solenoid that's on the starter itself. It's kind of strange because I've got this little relay that's up on the wall right next to all my other fuses. And uh, I've had to repair that thing once. Uh, and now the starter's going bad. So actually, it's not going bad. It is bad. It totally died on me. I went down to the gas station and I, and I parked and turned the truck off. And I came back out and click, click. Like moving the truck and jiggling it and tapping on the dang starter and nothing was working. So we had to call up a tow truck to come and get the get my truck and tow it here back to the house. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys can see, but our uh, our plants and stuff, we've been nurturing those and those have really been growing really well. You know, most of the time when we... Uh, in the past when we've tried growing stuff, for some reason, we all, it would always die. The stuff would always die. But this year was different. Uh, we planted a whole bunch of stuff. And now it's like almost everything is growing. And we've got too much. <laughs> so that kind of sucks. We got like, uh, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We got like six or seven tomato plants. And uh, hi, turtle. Yeah. So those are growing really well, and we've got some peppers that were growing. Everything, everything's, everything was a slow start, but now everything's just kind of taken off. But yeah, another another little adventurous thing that happened to me the other day. <laughs> oh man. I went out driving the motorcycle for about an hour or so. And then I was like, you know, I should take the Hyperion cart out and go drive that around a little bit. So I jumped on that and started driving that around. I went wood, I went down the street and, and the street turns into gravel road. So I took, kept on the gravel road and I went probably, I don't know, it was a good ways. I'm thinking maybe half a mile or so. And, uh, Suddenly, the, the, the Hyperion card, it stopped. It just stopped. And I'm looking around trying to figure out what the heck could have killed the engine. I ran out of gas. I ran out of gas. And I didn't have no phone or nothing. And I was so far, there was no houses around me. So I had to push the Hyperion cart all the way back home. It's probably like, you know, three quarters, three quarters of a mile, maybe even, maybe even more than that. But I've had to push that thing all the way back home. So tired. Luckily, it wasn't the bike. Because the bike, I think the motorcycle actually weighs more than the Hyperion cart. But, yeah. I had to push that thing all the way back home. And then, to top it off, I had to push it up our driveway. And our driveway is at an angle. So, after I walked that whole way, pushing that dang thing all the way back home, I had to give it that last effort to push that thing up our driveway. <clears throat> wow. I tell you what, my my legs were shaking and they were sore and 
Oh, that sucked. They teach me a lesson, though. I'll make sure I check, make sure I got enough gas in my machines before I take them out. <laughs> so, yeah. But, yeah, I had that little drama happen. And then, uh, oh, what's going on? What else is going on? Um, we've just, we've just been doing a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff around the house here. Hey, Chris, what's going on? <laughs> it shows I've only got one person here watching, so probably everybody's probably out and about or still in bed or whatever. But yeah, I'm just doing a simple little live stream from the from the porch here. I haven't got I haven't done one of these in God forever, so I thought, yeah, I'll just fire up my fire up my phone here because I'm talking to you off on my phone. I don't know how well we're, I'm reaching the Wi-Fi in the house, though, but, yeah. But, yeah, our, all, all our plants are growing really well. I don't know if you've, if you've kept up on that, but, yeah, we, we have a little garden out out there and and uh, all that kind of stuff. I got, I put, set this thing up here for the porch. You see that little uh, bamboo shader right there? That's really nice. Kitty, kitty, kitty. She. What you doing? Where was she? She. She. I went over and by into the front yard. Yeah. To close the gate. I closed it. And then she jumped up on it and like slithered up the pole. Oh. Like she grabbed it and she pulled herself up. And it was like a jump, but she stuck to the pole. Uh huh. So it looked like she just moved up the pole. Oh. So it, so she was in the front yard and then jumped. No, the fence? It, oh. she was out of the front yard. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, she jumped up on it and started walking around, stretching on it, like sticking her claws in it, uh -huh. rah, holding herself. Yeah, on I saw it. I saw one of the kittens jump up on the pole earlier on today, and. Uh, on the inside here, she was in, in inside the fence, and she climbed almost all the way to the very tip top of the pole. And then she's like looking around, and as cars are driving by, she's sitting there, you know, hanging off the side, looking at the cars drive by and stuff. And then she turned around, she looked back, and then she jumped back, jumped down. It was kind of funny. She like climbed up the pole to take look around a little bit. Yeah, I was just I just got done telling these guys about the time the other day when I ran out of gas and I had to push that thing all the way back home. <laughs> Yeah. I couldn't call anybody. My truck was broken, so even if I could call Crystal, if I stopped at somebody's house and asked somebody to, you know, hey, can I use your phone? I need to call, you know, it wouldn't have mattered anyways because my truck's not working, so she couldn't come pick me up anyways. So it was like there was nothing I could do but push that dang thing all the way back home. Or she could have brought a rope, could have tied it to the front end of the Hyperion cart, tied it to the back thing, and then oh, you yeah. sat on the Hyperion cart and steered. And she drove slowly back home and yeah. steered. Yeah, I guess that would have worked. <laughs> that would have been kind of nice, but then I'd have to stop and I'd have to walk. You know, w once I got halfway, it was like I might as well just push it all, push it out the whole way instead of stop at somebody's house and ask them if I can use their phone. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. But it did teach me a lesson. Make sure I check the gas. <laughs> but Chris, if you're still here, what's the, what's the newest project that you're working on? I'll, I'll probably only do this live stream for maybe about 15 minutes. Right now, we've been, we're at the 10 minute mark right now. I'll probably stay on here for another five minutes or so. Kitty. Is it, have you, by, have you guys been getting a lot of rain or is it hot? Oh God, look at my hair. Look at this. I need to go down and get this damn crap cut. This is driving me nuts. Look at that. 
It goes down in front of my face. Dude, do I not look like the total hippie guy? Yeah, man. It's all good, man. I hate that. <laughs> right now, I'm running the roads with uh, the Deuces Wild and the jet truck. Ah. Yeah, I remember you sent me that that uh, jet truck that you got that you guys did. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Don't forget to thumbs up the video too, you guys. Thumbs it up. That'll help it get that'll help it get out to other people. I took the Deuces Wild to the Hot Wheels Legend Show. Oh really? What'd they think of that? That's kind of cool. Well, we also had a little bit of more, more craziness happen yesterday morning. I, I was, I was up all night and I was coming upstairs to get ready to go to bed. Probably about eight, you know, about seven thirty or so. And we get these fire trucks and the fire marshal come out here, drive up our driveway, and go over to the neighbor's house. And I'm like, what the hell's going on? We have another fire truck show up. And I asked them, I was like, what's going on? Is somebody hurt over here or something? They're like, oh, hit a gas main. I was like, really? Well, as time went by, I went over and I talked with the neighbors, you know, on the other side of the fence here. And oh boy, they were, they were having some trouble. They had some guys come out and mark their electric line and their gas line because they're digging down into the... Uh, in front of their house because they're going to lay down some foundation. It took second place out of 300 cars. Now it's going to be made into a Hot Wheels toy. No way, Chris. That's awesome. That is awesome. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. If you if they if they send you any, you need to send me one. That'll be cool. I'll be like, I know the guy who did this. <laughs> But anyways, they were digging and what he's doing is he's, he's laying some foundation and then he's going to put a porch on top of that foundation so it doesn't flex because out here, because it's all clay, the clay is always flexing and stuff. And if you build anything, it's going to flex and tilt and shift and all that kind of stuff. And he doesn't want to do that. He doesn't want that to be happening to their porch that they have out in front of their house. So he's, so he's laying down some actual foundation. So he's digging. So yesterday he hit a gas main with his backhoe. The day before that, he hit the electric line, wiped out his electric at his house. They had somebody come out and fix that. And then yesterday he hit the gas line and that's why the, uh, they all came out and Midwest Electric came out and they, they fixed it and all that kind of stuff. But the uh, company that came out and marked uh, did the marking job. Uh, they reversed everything. Hey, Austin, what's going on? Hey, Austin. Yeah, Austin, I did get your, your, uh, your, your, uh, information, the, uh, message on Facebook. I got that. Yeah. I, uh, I've been, I've been, uh, doing all this stuff for court. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm in, uh, I filed a federal lawsuit against, uh, against an, uh, a, a, a unit here in the state. And, uh, for the past seven months, but it's going to go on eight months now, uh, we've been kind of battling it out in federal court. So they'll, they'll file stuff and then I'll, then I'll file challenges to it or whatever, you know? So yeah, that's what, that's what's going on. I'd, I have to, uh. I have to learn a lot of law because I'm representing myself. I didn't hire no attorney, so I have to learn a bunch of stuff. And that's pretty much why I haven't been doing any builds or uploads in the past three years because of that. Because it's this, when you represent yourself, you have to, you have to somewhat know what you're doing. But yeah, that's what's going on now.
and that's why I haven't been doing any builds. <laughs> but once it's done, ugh, I'm gonna get back into the builds because I'm just, I'm missing it, you know? I'm going out in my garage and I'm looking at stuff that's been sitting there for months and months and months and months. No worries. Uh, you do, you just wanted to be sure that you and your family are okay. Yeah, yeah, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. Pin pinching money here and there. We've, we've uh, exceeded our limit a little too much, but there are certain things that we have to do. So, yeah, but we're struggling, but hopefully everything will be done here soon. But, yeah, and um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, I was talking about the neighbor. So, yeah, he's uh, he's having a little trouble over there. I kind of feel sorry for the guy, but yet, yet, but uh, the company ended up marking the stuff wrong. But not, not just marking the stuff wrong. It's just uh, there are certain spots that the, like the electrical line and the gas main, the gas line, See, it's supposed to be buried about two feet down, you know, 18 inches to two feet down, your gas and your electric. Well, uh, because of our clay out here, you know, things are always fluctuating. So maybe we were, when I was talking to them, maybe when they built that house at first, they laid everything uh, at the right depth. But over time, over the years, the clay has shifted and, brought the brought the lines up higher or lower and yeah hey doug yeah small engine nation brought the lines up or or you know uh brought the lines up and he hit it with his with his backhoe so he you know he's he's having a little trouble over there yeah i kind of feel sorry for the guy but he's he's getting it handled he's got his own backhoe and stuff like that that he bought over there he owns a concrete business he's got uh trailers over there with uh with forms and stuff like that so yeah he's got it he, he's got it going on there oh i'm getting a phone call grand central station Oh, did you? Okay. All right. That's cool. That's awesome. All righty. What time do you think you're going to be getting off? Six? Oh, crap. Yeah. Right. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. All righty. Do the dishes? Okay. All righty. Yeah, Cody's still up too. So, yeah, he hasn't gone to bed yet. I know. Okay. All righty. All right, bye-bye. Ah, that was Crystal. You're sitting on your front porch too, Doug? Haha, <laughs> drinking coffee? Yeah. Yeah. Mornings are so much better when you can actually enjoy them. But when you got to get up and go to work or go out and go do something, yeah, mornings suck. <laughs> Kiss me. Callie. Kitty, 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 kitty. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Yeah. There you go, kitty. Hi, turtle. Kitty, kitty. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go down and get my hair cut today. See how long my hair is now? 
Yeah, I'm gonna go get that stuff cut up. Hey Breezy, Breezy's Bike Shop, welcome. <laughs> Mo Mama Sweener says, uh, good morning. <laughs> <laughs> I was on I was I was going around watching some YouTube videos last night and and uh I went over to uh Redbeard's Redbeard's garage. I went over there to his uh to his channel, looked around, looked at some of that stuff. Man, what's that what does he do with all that stuff? You know? You you always see all these new builds and stuff that he's got. It's like what the hell does he do with all that? My god. I would get barked at. Uh, my, 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 my whole place would just be a mess if I had that many builds and all that stuff sitting out there. I wouldn't like that at all. But then there's... I did like his... Uh, I don't know if you guys saw that... that uh, he got rid of that bike, though. The tandem bike, I think it was. He built it in really long. That's kind of cool. I thought that was kind of cool. You just finished building your electric trike? Oh, you better be putting that on your channel, Austin. You better like do a walkthrough and all that kind of fancy stuff. Show everybody how you set it up and everything. Did you put... Oh, well, yeah, I remember. Remember that last time that you came in and you were talking about the, uh, we, uh, the front suspension? You wanted to do it based upon that one rendered that we were looking at? Did you end up doing that? Putting a little shock in the wheel. No, I was actually putting the shock in the spindle, I think. It was some some unique type of thing. Hoping to do video for it, but my stuff's in storage. Oh, if you have a phone, do, do a phone video. Walk around with it. <laughs> Upload that up to your channel. <laughs> Doug, I just finished my mud mower build. Oh. I ended up just buying the kit. It was cheaper. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes sometimes it's better just to buy buy a kit of something than to build it all yourself. I mean, you know, you you still have pride in, in putting it all together, you know, but you know, it just when you build everything up from the ground up, you know. Bleh. I have photos on my Instagram. Oh, do you? Okay. Kissy. Gizmo. Kitty, 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 kitty. Kissy. Yeah, it's so hot out here. The cats come out and they'll like play around just a little bit and then they flop down in the shade. I don't even know how warm it is. I can't really see it from here. See, on this pole right here where you see this uh, lantern. I've got lanterns on all my poles, but um, right above that is the uh, uh, temperature thing. Oh, you're going to build her a mud mower so you can both be two lovebirds ripping it up in the mud? <laughs> I tried designing it and cloned it CNC. The kit was cheaper and was proven to work where it was... Uh, Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I see. Yeah, that probably would be, would be a little bit more convenient. Yeah. Oh, you can see the my emergency light thing that I built a few years back. Dude, I use that damn thing all the time. I'm so glad I built that. <laughs> Yeah. Did you guys see uh, Atsar's newest video? Tool, or tool review? I can't remember if you put it on Atsar or you put it on tool review. I can't remember. Uh, 
So how far are, are you done with school yet, Austin? I think you were going, weren't, weren't you going for a two year, two year type of thing? Engineering degree or something like that? Engineering or fabrication or something like that? I can't remember what, what you're going to school for, what you're going to college for. The motor's three, three kilowatt. Ah, oh, three kilowatt burst. Max and speed, 16 mile at range is high I have been. For... Wow. 60, 60 kilometers an hour would be about, what's that, 47 miles an hour? I think something like that, maybe? 45 miles an hour? I can't remember how to do the math on that. Yeah. Something like that. You have to do a search. <laughs> yeah. That's one thing I can't stand about these phones is that you can only do one thing at a time. You can't really multitask. You know, I can't be broadcasting here and then do a YouTube or Google search or anything like that. It sucks about phones. Uh, but they'll probably change that. Eventually, our phones are going to totally take over you know, take over our regular computers. Duh. Or they'll have like, well, I'm sure they've got them already now, little docking stations. You can dock your phone up to an actual computer and just use the screen. Oh, man, crazy stuff is going on. Have you guys been, uh, I don't know, do you guys uh, follow, uh, oh, what's his name? Chucky2009. Do you guys watch his stuff? And he's, he's been putting out some pretty interesting videos in the past two months, hasn't he? <laughs> some of that stuff, he, he's ranting and stuff. I, I like it. I think it's funny. I think it's, I think it's cool. It's, it's cool to see somebody actually, a, a, a large YouTube channel like what he's got, saying the things he's saying. You know, I think that's, that's awesome. He's actually taking a stand. Uh... I'm done school, just being over, been homeless for three months. Oh, crap. Oh, 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 oh. Dang it. Shoot. Wasn't able to read that fast enough. I went downstairs to try to get one of my other uh, little tablet that I have next to my computer. But then when I went to turn it on, because I want, what I wanted to do is I wanted to have a video, doing the video here, and then have my tablet so I can see the comments that you guys are pay posting, you know. But because on a phone, when somebody posts a comment, it comes up and then it stays for like five seconds and then it goes away. So you've got like, you have to be like sitting here looking at the dang... <sighs> The damn thing while you know get ready to read fast and that sucks you know you can't you can't be doing stuff around and not not hear people and not catch people you end up not catching people yeah oh well we're we're approaching the half hour mark here guys i was in school okay stuff so. Uh, three months, hence stuff and storage. I was in school for automotive mechanics, graduated with honors, my second college. Uh, first program was welding. Oh, okay. I was in school for automotive. Yeah, there you go. Oh, I see. Okay. You're homeless for three months, damn. Yeah, that sucks, that does. Being homeless is, it really, really does suck. You just don't get used to it. Don't get used to it because if you get used to it and you 
you have the idea that uh, uh, make the best of what you've got. Yeah, you don't really want to do that because if things ever get difficult for you later on in life, then you know that, oh, well, I've already lived homeless once, so I can just go back to it. You don't want to think that way. Because then you end up will. You, 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 you will. You'll go back to it eventually. So you don't like it. Don't get used to it. <laughs> well, what about your parents, Austin? Call up your parents and say, Mom, Dad, damn it. <laughs> I need to move back in. <laughs> I was in foster care at age 13. Oh, really? Oh, that's right. Yeah, you were staying you were staying at a at a place like that. Yeah, I do remember that. Huh. Shoot. Well, do you, you keep in keep in contact with any your any other the foster kids and stuff the people that you grew up with or even, or even the foster family of course I don't know I mean it's kind of depends you know I've known some really good foster foster families I've known some real bad ones people who should not be foster parents but yeah. Oh, well, you guys, it's been 32 minutes now, so I'm going to shut this down because it's really hard to keep this going without seeing comments. And I don't think these kind of things go very, very Joe Mumble. <laughs> Part of the issue is that I'm currently on disability, doesn't pay enough, rent too expensive, and landlords discriminate, housing Housing subsidies have long wait list. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, crap. You ever, you, they got campgrounds around where you're at? You can stay at a campground. That's what I used to do. Uh, Joe Mama, hey. Yeah, back in the day when I first moved here to Montana, you know, I was homeless. After the first six months, I was homeless for two and a half years. So, yeah, I know what that's like. If I had the money to stay in a campground, I kind of did. But. I'm doing okay. Doing okay. It's gotten really hot here. Jeez, we don't have any wind going on now. There's been no breeze, no nothing for the past three days. Blech. It's so hot. The cat in the morning, it's kind of funny because the cats are all like energetic and they want to go outside and I let them all out and they, they'll walk around and have all this energy and after about 20 minutes, they just lay down. <laughs> they lay down on the porch here in the shade. Jesus, so hot. Even the camps are a thousand plus for a month long stay. What? Jeez. Yeah, that's... That's completely no way. Man. And you only get like, for the disability, you only get like, what, 350 a month or something like that? Jesus. Oh yeah, Joe Mama, yeah. Yeah, there are going to be some more builds coming, but I'm in the I'm in the process of doing some legal stuff right now, and I've been doing it for like the past, well, three years. This is the year number three.
172 basic uh, max uh, max rent 497 oh oh yeah because then that leaves you oh Jesus you can probably shack up with a few other people too and you know some place to rent but yeah I don't know that's that's kind of hard to find at least anybody who's reliable Oh yeah, every everybody will say, "Yeah, let's all go in on it together and pay what they can right away." But then to, to keep that torch burning, you know, they mess up. Some people are homeless by choice, and they like being it. They don't want any responsibility. That's not. They 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 just get sick of paying the bills and all that crap. You know what I'm saying? But oh yeah, Joe Mom, we're we're doing okay. We're doing okay. I'm just, I'm just doing uh, I'm doing a lot I'm doing some law stuff. Room rental is 700 plus, but you get no protection. Lots of people in the shelter because of that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Damn. That's how it's here. That's always fun. Yeah. Yeah. I'm doing I'm doing some legal stuff in the uh in the federal courts right now. A bunch of stuff I have to learn and study and contact uh, uh state offices and try to collect information and all that kind of crap, you know, I got to do all that stuff because I'm representing myself. I'm not I didn't hire anybody. Cuz if I hired somebody the case would have gone nowhere. You can't you in what I'm doing, you can't really hire anybody. Single bedroom for fourteen hundred plus two bedroom for two thousand condos go for holy crap, Austin. You need to get the hell out of that place. Dude, that is like way too dang expensive. You get your next check and you like or or, or you live homeless for a while and then look around for like like a pickup or a van for sale or something, a minivan, and you go buy it. And then you go to the storage unit and get all your stuff out and you pay off your storage unit and just get the hell out of Dodge. Yeah. That's way too damn expensive to live in a place like that. Our rent down here is not even not here in Missoula. It's not even that bad. We got a place downtown here. It's kind of kind of a wait. Uh, even a car would cost me ten thousand plus a a year, as we are required to have insurance. Oh well, right, yeah. But you get your get you know, and once you get the car, uh, pack all your stuff up out of the storage and leave. You know, go to some place where. It's cheaper to live and you, you probably have better you'd have way better luck moving down here to the states not not anything big like California or New York no no <laughs> that'll be going <laughs> you'll go to... <laughs> yeah don't do that you want to go someplace like maybe Arizona or something like that? <laughs> yeah. See, even Joe Mama thinks that's expensive. That's way expensive. You can come down here to the States. States have a better, they got a better thing. Most of the provinces has prices that bad. Uh, it's not just cities. I was looking at some of the small towns that are north. And they have some houses for seventy thousand. Uh, yeah. Well, that's not too bad for seventy thousand, but if that's your only income, eh? I'd be broke from your health care costs. Oh, oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, houses for seventy thousand. You know that's 
not too bad, but yeah, healthcare costs, that might be. Well, with your situation, you know, you could probably, uh, God, you could probably get everything paid for. You know, get documentation and all that kind of stuff showing that you were uh, in adoption or, uh, you know, uh, some documentation that shows that you, you, you lived in a, in, in a adoption agency since you were 13, all that kind of stuff. I did register my business and had a few contracts that are now on hold. So I could make the income, but I need to get settled and have a workshop. Yeah. 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 You got to make it through that first, um, uh, indoctrination level, you know, you have to make it through that first entry level. Once you get through that, then things should start panning out for you. You know, that, that, that was one problem that I had when I was doing my lawn service, when I would go out and I'd mow lawns and stuff. The hardest part was to get started. Um, but once you get started and you get some clientele, then that's, that's a different story. Then you can, then you, have, you can actually start progressing, you know, you know, that's, that's, that's the hardest thing about any, any business out there is getting through that first um that first stage but once you get through that first stage you get everything all listed and registered and you've got the equipment you've got all that stuff ready and going then you can get going yeah they're on hold oh I have one big company that is interested in the work I do so I might end up with income from them. The trike was what drew them to me. Really? That's pretty cool. That's cool. Do some engineering work and stuff like that. Well, you work with CAD too, don't you? What CAD program do you work with? The equipment, it's all in storage, right? Yeah, you just gotta, yeah, you just have to find the property, some place where you can set everything up at. You work with all three of those? Fusion 360, Inventor, and Eagle? What? Dude, don't you get screwed up? <laughs> I messed around with Inventor for a little while. I was like, dude, I'm because I was so used to using SolidWorks. And it was just like, what is going on here? I cannot figure this out. You're jumping from one thing to the next to the next to the next. Well, you were doing also stuff on Google, on Google's platform too, weren't you? Google, uh, oh, I can't think of what it's called now. SketchUp, I think, is that what it's called? Their 3D program it was free. I've heard that, that that program has come a long way. The only problem is, is that when you start using it, so when you start using it and designing your own stuff, you can. You know, get saved onto the cloud or whatever. Well, now Google has access to all your stuff. <laughs> Bought a solder oven in February. Oh, nice hair. <laughs> Yo, Joma, I'm gonna be I, I'm gonna be going down today and getting a haircut. I do not like this. I don't like that. No, 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 no. I like having longer hair, yeah, but not this long. <laughs> Fusion for cam work and general design, inventor for structural analysis and renders, eagle for, oh, for the PCBs, oh, okay.
Huh. Oh, really? Wow, I didn't know they, they went to a pricing on that. That's, that's a little odd. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't like the idea of using a using a system that has a cloud based cloud database to it. Misfit, I want to beef up the front end on my front end on a beat up your dog and add neutral and reverse. I might try to make a little build series and video it uh, as a MIG welder good what kind of welder will i need um well misfit i i use the harbor freight welder that's what i use i use one of those things because <laughs> that's all i can afford uh a 110 flux core <laughs> yeah i've got really good builds but i use the most pathetic equipment there is to build stuff <laughs> <laughs> uh, everybody knows that he uses he uses the crappiest stuff to build really cool builds <laughs> uh, i'd like to get i mean i don't even have 220 in my garage i'd like to get 220 set up and i'd like to get a better welder you know the one thing that i'm getting really sick of doing is with that mig welder that I've got the 110 flux core. I, I I get to the point where I hate cleaning up all the spot and stuff. I just hate that. I get so sick of that. I'll weld stuff and I'll do a bead or whatever and put stuff together and I've got all this slag and crap all over the place it's, that's welded to the steel and you know, got all that residue that burns off and ah, I get so sick of cleaning that stuff off. <laughs> well hey guys it's going on 50 minutes now i want to get out of here i want to go down and get my hair cut and i want to go i gotta do some other stuff uh yeah but i've seen so many people that can't build in a shop because they are so used to high-end equipment that they can't problem solve when needed yeah yeah that is true austin yeah I've met a lot of people like that too. They'll go out and they'll buy the best equipment there is and spend all this money on this great stuff. But when it comes down to building stuff, they do the exact same stuff everybody else does, you know? It's like, oh, you know, if you're on your own, you know, sky's the limit on what you, what you can do. Yeah. All right, Austin, yeah, I'll, t I'll talk to you guys later. I might be do I might do another live stream Saturday. What is that? What's Saturday? Is that tomorrow? Yeah, I might be a, I might do a live stream tomorrow, tomorrow night. So yeah, if you guys are subscribed and hit also hit that bell icon too, so that way you can be notified via your phone. <laughs> I just brought a brand new Trailmaster 3 R X XRX. Well, I got a loan anyway there awesome a thing is amazing in the trails oh cool now you gotta did, did it come with any like off-road lights or anything like that like those aux beam little led lights or anything oh i gotta go <laughs> yeah, yeah here i am wanting to keep talking with you guys but yeah i gotta go i gotta go get some stuff done i'm on kind of a time limit today Uh, yep, headlights, horn, all that. Not street legal. Oh, okay. Yeah. No turn signals or anything like that. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. I'll talk at you later. Hopefully, I'll probably see you out here tomorrow. I'll be doing a live stream. I'm, I'm going to try to do a live stream tomorrow if I can, um, if I'm not too damn tired. So, yeah. But it'll probably, it'll probably start around 7, 8 o'clock, something like that, like I normally do on Saturday. So, yeah. All right. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. See you later.